Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. A 2A victory just took place. It's hot off the press. It comes from the Gun Owners Foundation, which is basically Gun Owners of America, and in all places, the state of New York. Now, New York cannot stand gun owners. They cannot stand guns. They cannot stand the fact that you would even think about carrying a gun to protect your loved ones. It's a, it's a horrible thing in their eyes. All you have to do is look at what they did years back with the SAFE Act. So many infringements prohibits gun owners from exercising their rights. It's, it's really a disgrace. And if you look at the crime in New York and everything that has happened, it, it's, it's an outrage that people... In the eyes of the lawmakers in New York, shouldn't have the right to protect themselves. Well, there has been a 2A victory. Now, to back up a little bit, the courts ruled that New York has to issue carry permits. People have the right to keep and bear arms, and they didn't like that. They've appealed, and they, they do whatever they can to stop that process. But in the midst of it, they also made a law that said that the applicants of concealed carry permits have to provide records of their social media to determine whether they qualify under their eyes to be eligible for a concealed carry permit. And that was just ruled by a judge who said it is unprecedented constitutional violations. Now, I know what you're thinking. The same thing I thought. Un unprecedented constitutional violations. This happens all the time. Every time that some radical, left-wing, right-wing, whatever, infringe, infringes on our rights, that it is unprecedented constitutional violations. Well, in this case, a judge actually ruled that, and we're hoping that that precedent will, will take place in other areas when they come up with these crazy ideas. Now, just think about that for a minute. You have to give records of your social media accounts, show them what they, and then they look back. Now, I I'll tell you right now, if I lived in New York, I would get denied in the first 30 seconds. They would say, no way, this guy is unfit. He's he's mentally unfit. He, he's got serious issues because I happen to love guns and I happen to love shooting guns. And that's what they do. They categorize you, put you in a box and say, you don't qualify. Well, a judge just ruled unprecedented constitutional violations. You have no right to look at the social media accounts. If you want them so bad, look them up for yourself. Most of them are public. Many gun owners are private people, and I certainly understand that, but many are, are public. They put it out there. But no, they wanted you to provide records, and then they will determine if you qualify, if you're mentally insane in their eyes. It would be so easy for them to deny people and say, well, it's clear that you're you're not capable of handling a gun because you you shot from 25 yards. Like who's ever going to use self defense from 25 yards? Well, I'll tell you, you know, I, I really don't like that self defense takes place from three to five feet because if somebody's shooting at you down a a, a long aisle in a grocery store and you return fire, that's that's further than three to five feet or three to five yards, whatever they say. So. This is a 2A victory. It's something that needs to be celebrated. Now, the state of New York also said that, hey, we're, look, we're looking to appeal this. We're going to appeal this. And, of course, it may go back to court. But this judge, so somebody's going to have to say, well, this is what I consider a, a standard thing. Like, you're asking people to provide social media records. Where else in society do you have to provide your social media accounts, okay? People are going to look at your Twitter and everything you said, then deem you unqualified? I mean, this, this guy's not normal. He's he's pro-gun. He actually loves freedom, and it's the exact opposite of the way we feel. He doesn't qualify. It, it's crazy that they would even do that to begin with, but, but that's where we're at. So amidst all the chaos of the, the midterm elections, these anti-gunners that want to infringe upon our rights to take our guns to, to prohibit so many restrictions on magazines and barrel shrouds and pistol grips and everything else that there's actually a victory, a, a judge that actually sees things in the eyes of common sense. You know, we, we actually hear often common sense, you know, this is common sense. Well, finally, we have some common sense where they say this, no, no, you are going too far in this case. It is ridiculous what you are asking people to do. If they don't have a criminal record and they own a gun, they should be able to carry it. I don't care where you live, 
but New York doesn't like that. They they want to tell you how to live, how, what you have to do, and basically call 911 in a city that is so crowded with people and you can't get anywhere on the streets because of the heavy traffic, and you're going to call 911 when some guy's pounding you and stabbing you in an alley in New York. That really makes sense. Why didn't you have a gun? Well, I got denied because I had a picture of a gun on my Instagram account. That's that's what we've come to. It's really quite crazy that this should even have to go to court, but it did. And nonetheless, it's a 2 way victory in this dark time in our country when the midterms were, were not that great and we were hoping for a lot better. So... I just wanted to report that because it just came in, and I think it's great. If you don't belong to Gun Owners of America or Gun Owners Foundation, I highly recommend that you do that. They are always fighting for our, our rights. They are no compromise. They do a phenomenal job. They are constantly in court, and they work on behalf of gun owners, and, and they see things the way we see things. We want to protect ourselves. We want to compete. We want to enjoy guns. In every facet of life, we should not be restricted by these radical lawmakers who can't stand it and they want to impl implement their will on our lifestyle. It's kind of crazy that this even went to court, but it did. We won. It's a 2 way victory and it needs to be celebrated and Gun Owners Foundation needs to be uh, thanked because they did a great job in this victory. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.